A local woman who received a breakthrough brain cancer treatment is saying thank you today to the team that ultimately helped save her life. And joining us now with details on how this medical therapy works is health anchor Liz Bonus. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon and good afternoon to you once again. You may recall just a few months ago we told you about this therapy. The team at Mayfield Brain and Spine among the first in the nation to treat recurrent brain tumors with it. It is called targeted gamma tile, and to explain it, we do want to warn you, we're going to show you the placement of it in real-time surgery video, courtesy of Mayfield, and it is medically graphic, but here is how it works. This is Dr. Vince DiNapoli placing what's called gamma tile therapy. It is for the treatment of GBM, or glioblastoma multiform brain cancer. Gamma tile is a 3D collagen tile. It is placed into the tumor cavity during surgery. It's a source of radiation that immediately begins to target the cancerous cells and limit the damage to the healthy brain tissue around it. Today, as the patient to have that therapy uh, came in with Dr. Vince along with some others in our studio as we were preparing for our Sunday 6 a.m. show, we heard them talk about this. She is doing very well. I'm on my second recovery. Mm -hmm. um, I collapsed at my uh, work oh on my. October 30th of 2018. Um, I had a seizure and fortunately my sister works with me and she sits two cubicles down and she heard me collapse and I didn't know what was going on. I had no warning signs. I feel like um, this has given hope beyond hope to others out there that may have a brain tumor. The GBM is a, it's a malignant adult brain tumor, so it occurs uh, generally people in their you know, ranges of 40 to 60 is really the most common age ranges. But it is a, it's a tumor that can be fairly aggressive. That's something similar to what uh, Senator McCain or Senator Kennedy had. Um, so we want to give our patients as many tools to fight this disease as possible because when it has a tendency to want to come back in the same area where it initially occurs. And uh, when that happens, we want to have all the options available for those patients so they can really get the best uh, or the latest treatment out there to try to fight this. You know, we feel so blessed to have them in our community mm -hmm. trying newer therapies like this. And the problem with GBM is it's, it's sort of cobwebbish, mm -hmm. that it sort of spreads over the brain. So if you can target where it is, what it does is it keeps you from sort of hitting the outside things around it that might impact your sight or your speech or things like that, and yet still go after the area that you don't want to grow. It's pretty remarkable stuff. Yeah. We're going to have more Sunday morning at 6 a.m. with her, but, you know, I gave her just a chance to say thank you. And the first thing she did is just turn to her doctor and just say thank you, you know, Aww. without this you wouldn't have you know even like she said that hope that you can at least keep it at bay and we are feeling like now we've never had this option with brain tumors that you can live with them rather than die from wow. them just like blood pressure problems just like diabetes it's very encouraging our team at Mayfield man lucky to have that's it. awesome incredible yeah.